81 million dollars worth of xrp has been transferred from an unknown wallet to coinbase and this makes no sense because at the moment coinbase does not trade xrp so this person either is doing two things number one they have some insider information that coinbase may be relisting xrp or number two they understand the type of frenzy this news would create and it possibly would pump up the price of xrp and in this video we are going to discuss three reasons why ripple might actually win the sec lawsuit and i want to clarify this video is not about xrp being fast or slow centralized or decentralized having a use case or not this video is about the sec lawsuit and i definitely would recommend that you stay until the very end because the third reason that they might actually win the lawsuit is the biggest one and with that being said let's get into the content welcome aboard the bitcoin express my name is chase let's get to it first we're going to do a quick summary about the lawsuit if you already know about it you can go skip ahead so the SEC is suing Ripple, claiming that Ripple has been selling XRP in the form of a security at the point of sale and throughout its history. And this is different than previous cases that might have been similar, for example, when it comes to EOS. EOS was only sued by the SEC for selling EOS as a security at the point of sale. So EOS settled and they moved on. But in the case of Ripple and XRP, they are being sued for the whole history. So they can't settle the same way that EOS did. And as soon as this lawsuit was given, the price of XRP went down, right? And also we saw that XRP was removed from many exchanges and things weren't looking too great for Ripple and XRP. But more recently, the story has changed. And this brings us to the first reason why Ripple might actually win this lawsuit. And it has to do with the first big win they had within this lawsuit. Ripple one discovery what this means is that ripple was granted access to look at sec internal records on bitcoin ethereum and xrp and the reason this is important is because ripple now has access to these internal records and they are looking for evidence to show that at one point in time someone within the sec stated that xrp is similar to bitcoin or Ethereum. The reason that's important is because Bitcoin and Ethereum are often seen as a non-security. So if Ripple can prove that someone at some point in time stated that XRP is similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum, it would be very good for their case. And when this news came out, we saw the price of XRP started to climb. This really started to change the story, right? This is still reason number one. And as the judge stated, I'm going to grant in large part the defendant's motion, noting that it was a high stakes discovery win. So this was only reason number one. But the price of XRP has continued to pump. And that brings us to reason number two. And I do want to say right before we get into that, that for the case of crypto, it is best that Ripple wins this lawsuit. I know there are people that watch this channel that do not like XRP or they only like a certain cryptocurrency, Bitcoin or Ethereum. But in the end of the day, this is a win for crypto. If Ripple loses this lawsuit, it will hinder the crypto space. If they win the lawsuit, it will open up crypto and it will remove these limits that we've had for many, many years. So coming back to number two, why Ripple might actually win this lawsuit is the court denied the SEC's request seeking years of financial records from Ripple executives. So part of the lawsuit is that Ripple plays a part in the price of XRP. The executives, they sell XRP, they could pump up the price, they could push it down. So the SEC has access to Ripple's records, including XRP transactions. But the court wanted actual records from the CEOs. They wanted records, personal records, from Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. And the judge said that is irrelevant. You have the transactions you need for XRP and the company Ripple. But the actual personal records of Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, that is irrelevant. So this was win number two. And from here, we started to see the price of XRP continue to climb. So, so far, Ripple is leading in this lawsuit, right? They're definitely on the winning side, even though it's not over yet, right? As I make this video, this video is more of a speculation video. We don't have any conclusive evidence or results at the moment. But this brings us to reason number three, which I think is a very, very big reason that Ripple might actually win the SEC lawsuit. So it is said, or it was claimed by the SEC, 
that the price of XRP is based off of the company Ripple. Ripple can pump the price up and Ripple can pump the price down. And as soon as this lawsuit came out and Ripple was you know, under fire and XRP was removed from exchanges, the price of XRP started to go down, which was expected, right? Well, things have changed. And now Ripple has been disassociating itself with the price of XRP. And over the last 12 months, XRP increased 532% as of mid-April. And if we look over just the last few weeks, over the last 14 days, 48%. Over the last month, XRP up 155%. So even though we're in the middle of a lawsuit and Ripple is out of the picture at the moment, they're not putting their hand in the price of XRP we see that the price of XRP continues to climb. Now, this can be for other reasons as well. Of course, we're in this crazy frenzy bull market and everything, really everything is just going up. So that also may be a reason. But as we can see, these three reasons are definitely giving a strong case for Ripple. But I wanna say not a strong case for Ripple, but a strong case for crypto. Remember guys, in the end of the day, I know there's a lot of hate between communities, this project, that project. In the end of the day, if Ripple wins this lawsuit, this is a win for everyone in crypto. Now coming back to that $81 million XRP wallet transfer, what's really going on? Does this person actually know something that we don't or are they following the same news that we are following and maybe speculating, thinking that Coinbase will release XRP? Again, this is speculation. We don't know the answer, but it also is possible this person moved these XRP, the $81 million worth of XRP, simply for news to pump up the price. This is something we see in crypto often. People will move wallets, they will move crypto, dormant wallets, hacked wallets, just to create market news. We saw this during the Coinbase IPO as well. A wallet that wasn't touched for five years that had funds from a Bitfinex hack has not been moved in five years, but it happened to be moved, not randomly, I think it was on purpose, on the same exact day that Coinbase went public. So we can see that people move wallets just to create market frenzy. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But I think this was a very interesting news story that someone moved such a large amount of XRP to Coinbase, even though Coinbase at the moment does not trade XRP. But I want to know what you guys think down below. Does this person actually know something that we don't know? Is XRP going to be relisted on Coinbase and all these other exchanges? Or is this all just for a short term pump? Let me know in the comments below like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.